Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Block Regen plugin. Now this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to set up these areas where blocks will regenerate after a certain amount of time into a certain item. So this is all very customizable in the config file but we're going to show you a couple of examples in game and then dive into the config. So the first example I have in front of me I got a variety of ores and what you can see here is if I were to smash one of these, so we'll start with the coal ore, what is going to happen? It's going to turn to stone initially, it's going to give us the coal, and then it's going to turn into iron ore. Now if we break the iron ore, it's going to turn into stone, it's going to drop the iron ore, and then it's going to turn into gold ore. There we go. And then finally, if we break the gold ore, it's going to turn to stone. It's going to take a little bit longer this time, so I'll cut the video. So you can see it kind of runs in a loop, so it goes from coal to iron to gold, back to coal again. So obviously you can't just mine a particular one if you want. And then if we have a look over here, you can see there is stone, which will either go to cobblestone, bedrock, or emerald. Um, so it's completely random. Uh, there is a set chance um, in the config file, so I think it's 50-50 uh, for each. And what you can do, you can customize it however you want. You can change percentages, you can change what blocks it might go into. And I think it's just a really awesome plugin um, that's got loads of capability. Now if we look at the second plot, you will see that this one actually has a requirement. So my normal pickaxe does not work. It needs two enchantments in order to use this, which is pretty cool. So thankfully I've got a diamond pickaxe with both of these enchantments. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So the diamond ore turns into stone. You can see there is actually a command being performed in the chat. And it's going to turn to stone and then give it a few seconds and it will all turn back to diamond again. So that's another thing you can do, you can attach commands and requirements to a certain block. If you want to create one yourself, we can do forward slash block regen, uh, that's going to show us all of the commands. If we do block regen region and list, that's going to list all the different regions you've created, so I've obviously made two. But let's go ahead and create one of our own. So you need to decide how big the area is going to be, I've just got a couple of stone blocks, I'm going to make a small cuboid here. And then what you need to do using world edit is select the corners. So do forward slash forward slash one to left click the bottom corner, right click the top corner, and then you can break both of these blocks once you're done. And then you can do block regen, region, set, and then give it a name. I'm gonna call it server miner. And then it's as easy as that. You can just start placing blocks within your region. And even if you break them in game mode one, it is still going to have that effect on them. So you can see they will turn to stone and then they'll slowly turn back to ores, as you can see. And that is the sort of thing you can do with it. If you do want to remove a block, obviously game mode 1 doesn't work, so you'd have to select it using world edit and do forward slash forward slash set 0, uh, set it to air, and then you can obviously replace that block with whatever you want. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, and as you can see there's quite a few YML files. We'll start at the bottom in the settings.yml. So if we have a look in here, there isn't too much. It has various support for other plugins such as world guard, grief prevention, towny, etc. So you can enable and disable that. Then we've got the enabled worlds down at the bottom and auto save with the interval. If we go back and go into regions, this is pretty straightforward. It's literally going to save all of the different regions that you've created in game. Then we've got the messages.yml and as expected, this is just all the messages that's going to come up in chat. Then we've got a data.json file, so that's just a storage file, don't need to worry about that. But the main file we want to look at is the blocklist.yml. So in here is going to be everything that actually happens within a region. So we can see we've got blocks here. It's going to list all the different blocks. So we've got the diamond ore here. If we scroll down towards the end, we've got coal, iron, gold, stone, emerald. It's going to tell you what happens when you break one of those blocks in a certain region. So let's just go over the diamond one. So you can see diamond ore replaces with stone. And then we've got the regen delay. So a high of 10 seconds, a low of two seconds. And then we've got the money. So you can actually give players money when they break a block, which is pretty cool. Then we've got the player and console commands, which you saw in game. So when I broke a diamond ore, we would see this in chat. Obviously, you know, you don't have to use this feature, but you could um, change the weather or the time of day, give them an item. So it's really customizable. Then we've got tools required. So it's got to be a diamond or iron pickaxe, can't be uh, like gold or anything. And then we've got that enchantment requirement. So not only do you need fortune, it needs to be fortune too. So if we wanted to add mending to, obviously we would put a semicolon and then a number, so three. And that would mean we would need fortune two and mending three uh, for this requirement. 
scroll down a little bit more and then we've got a particle effect that we can use and then if we scroll down even more we've got a little bit of information about the lore the items that are dropped the amount of xp and the highs and lows of it scroll down even more we go to the blockchaining example so what we've got here is coal ore iron ore and gold ore and as we saw in game they went in a loop so one goes to the other so you can see it's pretty straightforward it all replaces into stone and then goes into the next one so coal to iron iron to gold gold back to coal you can see there is a different delay on each so three five and ten seconds and it's going to drop naturally now what you could do is just copy and paste this and go ahead and change it so what I've done there is just do a little example so you can literally just copy and paste uh, whatever you want in here and create your own so imagine we have oak planks we break that it will turn into stone three seconds later it will go into green wall and then when we break the green wall it will go into stone five seconds later it will go into an oak plank um, and obviously you can change all these values and the different blocks make sure you obviously spell the blocks correctly they've all, all got uh, specific names so don't get any of that wrong and then if we scroll down here you can see the percentage chance so we've got replace blocks so if you break stone it's either going to go to cobblestone or bedrock now you've got a 50 percent chance for cobblestone and then if we look into regenerate into it'll either go back to stone or into emerald ore there is a 20 percent chance to go into emerald ore so that you can obviously change these values um, so instead of putting a semicolon like we did for the enchantment we put a colon and then the percentage chance and then the semicolon and then the second block and if we go down to the bottom we've got emerald ore so when we break this it'll either go into stone or cobblestone we've got the regen delay so it changes between two and ten seconds those are the highs and lows and then we've got some regenerate into either emerald ore or stone it's a 10 percent chance and then the drop item we've got the name and the law so there's actually a ton you can do with this plugin you can tweak all of this you can add more blocks you can change blocks and times and percentages it's a really awesome plugin it works really well and i'd recommend it for your server so if you want to download it head over to the spigot page i'm using 1.16 so it is working on the latest version of minecraft and you can see there's a ton of information commands and permissions etc but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.